Just like a side dish, we have a side llama now. Side llama is a tiny Chrome browser extension which lets you run open source local large language models as a chat client in your browser. It works with Chrome at the moment and the installation is just you would install any other extension but in a developer mode. In this video, we are going to install it in our Chrome browser locally and then we will play around with it. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so I already have Chrome, so make sure that you have Chrome browser installed. Then once you are there, just go to their GitHub repo and then scroll up. You will see that there is a releases page. Open it maybe in a new tab or in the same tab and then you will see that there is some there are some assets there. So you can just download the whole zip file from here. So I'm just going to right click on it and then save it on my local system. And I think download this fine. Let's wait. Okay, so that is already done. Now, next step is to go to the Chrome and I'm already in the Chrome on the top right. Maybe click here and then you can click on extensions and then you can either go to the extensions or you can open it in your developer mode. I would suggest we go to the developer mode. And for that, once you are in this extension in the Chrome, just toggle this developer mode on on the top right. Once you toggle it on, you will see that we have this load unpacked. Now for that, just go back to your folder where you have downloaded it, right click on it and then you can simply do extract here and it is going to extract it here. And now we can load it in our Chrome browser. So let me go back to the Chrome and then for that, just click on this load unpacked. And fr from here, you can select the extension directory, which is in downloads. And this is the directory here, which you can open um, or you could go with the assets one or I would suggest we just go with the V001. And as soon as we select that V001 folder that has a manifest file, you see that now the extension is loaded here. Now, next step is to open your terminal and then um, let me just quickly clear the screen. And then from here, let's let me go to my home directory. Let's git clone the repo of site llama and I will drop the link to it in video description. And that is done. Also make sure that you have node and npm installed. So I have node installed. I have npm installed. And if you don't know how to do it, please search my channel. I have done a very easy to understand video as how to install node and npm. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Now this is what we need to do next is to close is to run um, the installation with the help of npm and then we are going to start it. So let me show you how to do it simply in the root of the directory run npm i and npm start. So let me start it. Let's wait for it to finish running. Let's wait for it to initialize. Should be very soon. Okay, so everything seems initialized now and you can ignore these warnings because it's a very new project. So we can expect these things. As you know that we are working on bleeding edge. The project has just been released. Okay, so let's go to one of the web page in our Chrome browser. And then let's click on extension on the top right. And you see we have this side llama extension there. Click on it and look at how beautiful the interface is. Really like the color selection here. Now you see it says that there is no active connection. Click on settings. And now the good thing is that you can connect it with your local models by using Olama on the default host and port or with LM Studio. And then you can also connect it with Croc. So instead of doing that, I'm just because I already have Olama installed which is running here. Let me quickly show you. So if I click on new window and then I do Olama list 
you see i already have few olama stuff running there i also have lm studio but i'm not going to connect here you would need to start the server there but olama is already running on the local host and stuff so and mistral and other portals are there if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the best quicket quickest fastest way to run large language models locally and i have done heaps of videos on olama if you're interested so once anyway so let's go to mass compute one and then let's click on connect here to the olama and you see it is connected the tick box says you that and then there are few other options like if you want to select any persona that this is a persona you want to change it you can do that you can do this it can also do the web search with dr go if you like and then there are some hyper parameters which are still i guess under construction that is fine and then there is some automation i'm not sure what exactly that is but it is coming soon so let's go back to the general one where you can select a theme but i think i like this one and these are our connections so how good that looks i'm just going to click on x here and once you click on that x you see it says that side lama and it has selected mistral uh, model automatically now you can chat about the page if you click on chat about the page you can say summarize content and then it just you can chat with it like hello there it was already working on that one you see so you can say hello there what this site is offering hmm you see nice okay now let me go to my channel and then because i never waste a good moment to shamelessly market my channel so so i don't have any other marketing budget so let's try out talking with my channel here so let's see and then what is this website okay so it is still on masked compute so what i will do i'll just cross it and then maybe i will reopen it by clicking on extension side llama and let's say chat about the page summarize content there you go for Besa and all that stuff and then there's also a section of playlist and then you can say who is Fahad Mirza youtuber that is good let's grab one of the video maybe i'll just grab this one and then just stop it no thanks and then i'm just going to ask maybe i'll just reload it like this just to make sure that i am on the proper one chat about the page and what this video is about if it can recognize the video yeah learning sojourn can you tell the location in this video yes avoca beach that is good so it you know it says it couldn't read the video but it i think from the title it was able to do in the description that it is avoca beach amazing stuff so you see how beautiful this extension is really like it free and you can connect it to olama lm studio wherever you like so really impressed by that and then you know other features where you can do web search and all that stuff and very very new project evolving quite rapidly so i will be keeping an eye on it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this project i will drop the link to it in video description so heads off if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.